Last night, someone came and passed me this note. He's the one that I'm just talking about. Yeah, let's see, tell me. This, this is the man I want to lose his son here. Doesn't it concern you, though, that, that this man, for whatever reason, one of the people in your group... People was... play games, friend. They lie, they lie. What can I do about liars? Are you people going to leave us? I just beg you, please leave us. Bill, we will bother nobody. Anybody wants to get out of here, can get out of here. We have no problem about getting out of here. They come and go all the time. I don't know what kind of game. People like, like, who, who, people like publicity. Some people do. I don't. The People's Temple Agricultural Project, better known by its informal name Jonestown, was a remote settlement in Guyana established by the People's Temple. Through its roots and teachings, shared more with Christian revival movements than with Marxism, it purported to practice what it called Apostolic Socialism. This cult was formed in Indianapolis, Indiana in 1955, but due to public pressure it changed its locations. Cult leader Jim Jones enjoyed public support and contact with some of the highest level politicians in the United States. After many scandals and media pressure on the movement, Jones concluded that he had to leave the United States and founded a utopian community in Guyana called Jonestown. After the mass migration, Jonestown became overcrowded. Many members of the temple believed that Guyana would be, as Jones promised, a paradise or utopia. After Jones arrived, however, life in Jonestown significantly changed. From the beginning, there were a lot of problems such as food shortages, diseases and frequent epidemics. Armed men took care of discipline. Those who broke the rules were punished by confinement in cages or electric shocks, and potential deserters were often reshored by drugs. Residents who nevertheless managed to escape reported serious human rights violations. Parents had to hand over their children to Jones when everyone called him father or dad. On November 14, 1978, Congressman Leo G. Ryan flew to Jonestown with a delegation of 18 people to investigate the abuses. Jones tried to hide everything from the visitors and leave the impression that everything is fine. This failed because 16 members of the commune begged the congressman to take them with him. Fanatical Jones supporters attacked the plane and killed the congressman, three journalists, one cameraman and wounded 11 other people. Residents of the settlement were called through a loudspeaker. Jim Jones explained it. When it is not possible to live in freedom, then we want to at least die in freedom. Death is just a transition to another level. Volume and cyanide mixed with juice were divided. Babies and children were killed first. Then it was the turn of young and old. Many parents drank the poison after the children died. Some tried to escape but most were killed and only a few managed to escape. Jones died from a gunshot wound to the head. A total of 913 of the 1,010 members were killed, including 276 children. We don't need for concerns about the tomorrows because every day will be heaven. Yes. We will have built the heaven that man has suppositionally dreamed about. Yes. We will have the heaven that we have been taught by the white masters would one day be given to us that we might be able to shine somebody's shoes in the throne room. But we shall have our freedom.
freedom here and now. If you want to be a member of some cult, you should think twice. <laughs>